Today I would like to show you how to plot an IR spectrum by using Qtplot. plot. So here I open the window and the first thing you have to do is to import the ASCII files. To do that, just go to File, Import and Import ASCII, but you also press Command or Control K. Then here you have the main import window and you can select a specific format here. In this case, I will keep all kind of file formats. Then you can choose the name of the files you have to import. So you can import more than one file at a time. And here you can select the main path of the folder containing your files. So here I selected desktop folder and I have one file inside that. You don't have to select the file there, just the folder. So here I selected the desktop folder. And about the name, I have only one file. So as soon as you type, Qtplot is suggesting you what you might import. In this case, I have only one file, but you can also click here and select how many files you want. Good. At this point, you have an overview of the first, for example, 500 lines, but you can also put, for example, 100, just to have an idea on how the final import would look like. In this case, I have a bunch of lines that I would like to skip, especially the first 50, uh, 52 lines. So we'll put here, ignore first 52 lines and here the input. Okay, let's put 55. Okay, great. And here you will have the input that starts with the, the right amount of data. But you can also regulate it with the arrows depending on what you would like to start. As you can see here, the data is changing. And you can also decide to ignore the lines containing a special character. In this case, I use the default. And then also the end line character. So if you are, for example, if you have a Linux uh, based plain text files or other kind of files, I mean, you, you must play a little bit with this, but once you get, uh, after a while, we'll get used to it. Then you have the separator. And in my original file, I have the space as column separator. But if you have, for example, a CSV that you can um, obtain from Excel, for example, or other kind of separator, you can use, uh, for example, as written here, slash T for tab, or also the comma for CSV, or other kind of separators as put in here. And here you can decide to use the first row as column names, for example, and the second as column comments or other, uh, or vice versa, etc. You can omit thousand separator if, if any, and uh, yeah, here you, you have some kind of um, options to play with. And here you can, sh you can see the quick help by looking at the handbook. So uh, if you have more than one files here, just import it and uh, click OK to import every file. So you, click, so you click OK and you import the file. And to plot it, just go here. If you keep pressed, you will see a preview of your plot. And if you want to plot, just double click here, plot, and you can find lots of um, plotting options and would like to plot the line and here you can find the final plot of our IR and your output might be a little different if you are using a fresh new copy of this software because I personalized it a lot by going here in preferences and here you have you have really a lot of options to play with and to change, for example, the order of the colors, the symbol size for the symbol, the default fault line width, the error bars, axes. For example, I decided only to show as default the Y and X axis and not to show the other two. And these are only global options. Okay, so if you change those, you will change all the options you will have in the future Qt plot sessions. So I decided to put this, but you can also double click, for example, on the axis, and you will have this kind of window. 
and change whatever you would like to change and the side also if you would like to apply to the layer the window or all windows or also to set as default and so this option will be set as default also for the next sessions and like copied in the preferences as i show you later but you can access them also from here so you have the bottom axis the left and okay so um, this is our IR plot and um, to modify it you just have to double click on the line you can modify how, how you like for example I would, like to, I would like to modify the width and the color let's put the color navy the axis the bottom axis so I would like to show it inverted okay now it's much better from 4000 to zero and here you can also play with the with the steps for example here is zero you can put for example for example 500 and you will have each tick of 500 or 1000 and here we go and you can do the same with the left axis so put your major ticks around 20 and it changes but let's say you would like to normalize this so the thing you have to do is to go here normalize column and it will normalize from 0 to 1 if you want to resize the whole window just go here on graph and rescale to show all or with this combination and you will rescale everything but you can also zoom in as you please for example I would like to zoom in this zone and you will have this spectrum. At this point I would like to move the legend and change the axis. So by putting the steps of 0 0.2 for example as you have here or just don't put anything at all by going here in axis where you can modify lots of things such as um, for example precision of the number the if you want to show the labels or the labels or or not and um, but I would like to let these major ticks disappear so go on the left and put none to let disappear the peaks the ticks and tick show labels okay now here I can put for example intensity arbitrary units and I can resize this and then I can put here for example wave number centimeters minus one and put this superscript and it will appear the tags as up great at this point i might modify those for example at steps of 500 okay and here i might modify also the legend and write IR test. Great. And now you will have your IR spectrum. But let's say you would like to, I don't know, put another spectrum inside over this to comparison. So you might, for example, import another file. In this case, I just copy this, just this one. And let's say you do let's say you did all the operations as before with this new spectrum and so you have normalized it to zero, from zero to one and then you have you would like to put it here but above this spectrum it's very easy you have just to go here and go to set column values and here you will have the possibility to apply equations on this column I mean on whatever column you like and I will put it on column 2 so call 2 will be summed 
with 0 0.5. Apply and close. At this point, uh, this is summed by 0 0.5, and I would like to show it here. So I will click Add and uh, right click here, Add, Add Remove Curve. And remember, this is the shortcut. So I will, so I just can do this. And I will add the new plot by clicking here. I would like to have the new curve as line and to be plotted. Um, with respect to the bottom left x axis. So I just add by clicking here and I will put it above in the legend. Then I will click OK and you can't see anything because it is out of range. So I will resize it by using the shortcut Command Shift R and we'll see both spectrum here. Now I would like to zoom them. So zoom in let's say from here to here and that's it I will put this here and also rename this ER test 2 and now let's say you want to highlight this peak you first would like to see where this peak is located so you go on data and then data reader and you can find the position of every of every point in the graph so you will go here for example and select 1391 okay that's great here you can see the equation i added by adding by um, playing with the so here you can see the point disable tools and then you can add for example a line here double click on this and you have some information about this tool so I would like the width of 2.0 the type I would like dash color dark gray this here if you want a an arrow I don't want it and the geometry so we say the x was at uh, 1391 my line out here but I can also add an arrow here and modify it for example what a solid one 1 1.0 black here I can change the shape apply and here we go your arrow let's change this okay great and then I would like also to use it as a default in the next session we'll use this and then okay and here you can add for example a piece of text so let's say let's put this and here you go you can also use your arrow keys and then press enter to move it and here we go now i would like to export it in pdf click here and put the name let's say ir test of the file and here we'll select as as before the folder and i will export in color and I can have a preview here. So I will export it. And that's it. And here you go. Thank you very much for the attention. And please, if you like the video, just hit like and subscribe for more Qt plot tutorials. And if you have any other suggestion or corrections, just let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, see you next time.